Timeless Concepts from Physics Helpline. In this video tutorial, we will discuss a multiple choice question taken from JE Main Exam of 2023. The question is based on elastic collision of two small balls of equal mass. We are required to determine the velocity of one ball after the collision. Read the question carefully. As per the given figure, a small ball P slides down the quadrant of a circle and hits the other ball Q of equal mass which is initially at rest. Neglecting the effect of friction and assume the collision to be elastic, the velocity of ball Q after collision will be Take g is equal to 10 meters per second square. Another information is given in the figure, not in the question, that the radius of the circle in question is given as 20 centimeters. The options are given in the question. We are required to find the correct option. Now for the solution. We will be using the concept of inelastic collision of two bodies of equal masses, velocities will be interchanged. Let us understand this concept from the theory of elastic collisions. In elastic collisions, both linear momentum and kinetic energy are con conserved. So here is the equation for conservation of linear momentum. Total um, momentum, linear momentum before collision should be equal to total linear momentum after collision. M1 U1 plus M2 V U2 is equal to M1 V1 plus M2 V2 where M1 and M2 are the masses of the two particles and U1 and U2 are its initial velocities before collision and V1 and V2 are the velocities after collision. Conservation of kinetic energy before and after collision gives this equation half m1 u1 square plus half m2 u2 square should be equal to half m1 v1 square plus half m2 v2 square. We can remove half from every term in this equation. We will mark this equation for conservation of linear momentum as equation 1. Rearranging this equation we can get this m1 into u1 square minus v1 square should be equal to m2 into v2 square minus u2 square. Rearranging equation 1 we get m1 into u1 minus v1 should be equal to m2 into v2 minus u2. Now we will divide the equations LHS by LHS should be equal to RHS by RHS. M1 and M1 gets cancelled. Similarly, on the RHS, M2 and M2 gets cancelled. Now, U1 square minus V1 square divided by U1 minus V1 will give us U1 plus V1. Similarly, on the RHS, we get V2 plus U2. Rearranging this equation, we get U1 minus U2 should be equal to V2 minus V1. Let us mark this as equation 2. Multiplying equation 2 by M2, we get this equation M2 U1 minus M2 U2 should be equal to M2 V2 minus M2 V1. We will mark this as equation 3. Subtracting equation 3 from equation 1, we get this M1 minus M2 into U1 plus 2 M2 U2 which it should be equal to M1 plus M2 into V1. On simplification, we get the value of V1. V1 is equal to M1 minus M2 divided by M1 plus M2 into U1 plus 2M2 divided by M1 plus M2 into U2. Now, multiplying equation 2 by M1, we get M1 U1 minus M2 U2, M1 U2, which should be equal to M1 V2 minus m1 v1 we'll mark this as equation 4 
Now adding equation 1 and 4, we get 2m1u1 m1 u1 plus m1 minus m1 minus m2 u2 which should be equal to m1 plus m2 into v2 because this m1 v1 and m1 v1 gets cancelled. From this on simplification we get v2 is equal to 2 m1 divided by m1 plus m2 into u1 minus m1 minus m2 divided by m1 plus m2 into u2. For equal masses, we have got m1 is equal to m2 is equal to m. So m1 minus m2 gets becomes 0. Similarly, this term also becomes 0. We are left with 2m to 2m divided by m plus m, which cancels and give, give, giving us v1 is equal to u2. v1 is equal to u2. And from this equation, v2 is equal to 2m divided by m plus m into u1. That means 2m divided by 2m into u1 which is equal to u1. b2 is equal to u1. So this gives us the interchange of velocity. Final velocity of ball 1 should be equal to final uh, initial velocity of ball 2 and uh, final velocity of ball 2 should be equal to initial velocity of ball 1. Now let us find out the velocity of ball P at the Q at the bottommost just before collision. Vertical height travelled by ball P before reaching Q is equal to is given by H is equal to 20 centimeters which is equal to 0 0.2 meters. Now kinetic energy at Q of the ball P is equal to half mv square if B is the velocity there. We, we want to find out the velocity, the value of velocity v. It should be equal to the potential energy of the ball at p, that is mgh. m and m gets cancelled, giving us v is equal to root over 2gh. Putting the values, we get 2 into g is equal to 10 into h is equal to 0 0.2 meters. Now 0 0.2 into 10 gives us 2 and 2 into 2 gives us 4 and root over 4 is equal to 2 meters per second is the velocity uh, at the Q of wall P is equal to 2 meters per second. Ball Q is initially at rest therefore just before collision the velocity of P, ball P will be 2 meters per second which uh, will come to rest after collision and ball Q will move with this velocity of 2 meters per second which is the answer to the question therefore the correct option is 3 this completes the answer to the question thanks for watching let us mark it here 3 is the correct option this completes the answer to the question thanks for watching